No mercy for you. No worries for you. He's like, Andy, it feels so weird. I know. What else do you want to put on this? So right now, I just finished two packages of trifecta cold chicken breast, which is absolutely awesome. Very clean, as you can see. It's basically shredded chicken, so. So Angie does her little. <laughs> what kind of seasoning is that? That's garlic powder. I put a little sea salt, a Himalayan sea salt. So the main thing is, is I'm eating super, super clean now. Uh, Sometimes I'll put a double, but he's eating clean. And this is this is the rice. We're eating the rice from here. So we have our. Are you gonna eat new rice? No, this is fine. I'm not picky. We have a rice cooker running 24-7 here. So one thing about with my diets is I was always more of a carbohydrate, like moderate carbs, moderate protein, which, you know, everyone has this misconception that when you are trying to lean out, you, you must cut your carbohydrates down extremely. But if your output is still at a high level, you should be using your carbohydrates. That's your fuel, and it's going to keep your muscle glycogen full. So... You know, when we have rounder, fuller muscles, that's because, you know, obviously we're carved up and, you know, I don't deplete myself. I might eat more or less on certain days, but today I'm going to train, so I'll make sure I get enough meals. Ideally, I like to eat four meals before I train, and I eat six meals a day now. That's the one thing that's a huge difference from what I've been doing for the past nine years since I retired is I'm not eating six meals a day. I was eating about four meals, so my dedication for the next 12 weeks is to actually eat six meals a day and it's a lot easier now because I have you know a partnership with trifecta and like I said this rice cooker wasn't sitting here running 24 7 right for since you even been around right we, we pulled it out sometimes but like it's running 24 7 now yeah like white rice is my go-to I still have some potatoes sometimes and I do have you know oatmeal or I've been eating cream of rice for uh for breakfast or grits and then I have mostly white rice the rest of my meals but there'll come a point where I actually cut down you know depending on my output I'll cut down on the carbs a little bit as we get into the last few weeks and really get the body trimmed down and, you know you guys will see that transformation we don't eat for a taste we eat for function remember that Angie speak for yourself <laughs> that's the line the meal three of champions right here transfer yeah. go down what did it say what do you say sorry did you say sorry let me hear it sorry okay <laughs> look at the face so serious it's okay honey I love you still so why what, what's up what's going on <laughs> so I was paying um, a model that did a demo for us through one of our other companies that I was signed in on in our PayPal. But I have our Cutler Nutrition account linked to it. So when I paid her, Jay was like, you paid on the wrong account because I was signed into the wrong one. And I had to open it up, show him that, look, I did send it to the right account. And he was like, oh, oh. And he wouldn't say sorry until I showed him and that's when you got him. My lover is so sweet. <laughs> I, I, This is a new product right here, the Daily Vitality line. Pretty good, huh? You like that? Is that us? Yeah, this is us. You haven't even seen that yet, huh? Oh, the Recovery Greens. We're going to have to try some of these. Brand new, just came out. Plus antioxidants in there. My favorite product in the world right there. 
analog mission. We have them in there, right? Hmm? Another great product, curcumin. Anti-inflammatory. So what else? Oh, you just asked me for this too. Probiotics. YouTube getting ready to uh, hit the gym right now. Today is going to be back day. This flavor I just launched, this could be the best flavor right now. I think it's everyone's favorite. And sometimes I take a pre-workout, sometimes not, but I'm definitely needing it today as I had a full schedule today and today is back day, so. It's the most important day besides legs. So this is kind of crazy because I've actually been training after my first meal. This is the first uh, day that I've actually eaten a bunch of meals and then headed to the gym. Even when I was in Boston recently, I, I, uh, I ate usually one meal and then went and trained. So. Like I said, I, I always felt my best after four meals, so if there's a specific time of day that I favor, I would always say that after four meals is be most beneficial if you're trying to put on size. But if you're trying to lean out, I think that the early morning workouts or even fasted workouts can be particularly uh, more helpful in my, in my eyes. But ideally, ideally what I'd like to do is hit the metabolism several times a day that's why when we trained for contests and a lot of times when I was at my absolute best I did cardio first thing in the morning I trained one session ate two meals went back to the gym trained again with weights and then went to did cardio before I went to bed so I was actually hitting metabolism four times a day and sometimes you know that can be a bit taxing so if that's like the last eight weeks in preparation where I would train basically for four months this time around, I'm doing this this whole Fit for 50 thing, and I'm doing a transformation over 12 weeks. And why I choose 12 weeks is I'm already at a pretty decent level of body fat, but ideally my goal is to get bigger and get leaner at the same time. So for you out there with the misconception that you have to bulk in order to put size on, I'm gonna prove that you can put size on and lean down at the same time so that's going to be the goal so the workouts are important but the nutrition is is actually more important to eat with more consistency so i actually tend to not travel too far from home when i don't have to so and i'll take food to, to work with me or travel with food you know this coming weekend i travel and i'll have i'll have meals there to uh to eat so I'm not stuck and empty without food. So that's gonna help us a little bit. Just wrapped the back day, gonna weigh myself. Oh, okay, I'm a little heavier than what I thought. Let's see what this weight is. I am. Let's see what it is. Two, 39 and a half. 239 and a half, so getting up there. Remember, I said I want to be 235 for this, so we just killed this back session. Now it's time to eat some food. I'm four, four or five meals in today, so not bad for a gym, huh? Sometimes I sit out here and I 
I meditate before the workouts and I kind of get my mind into it and, and look around and sometimes it's hard to believe I actually live in Las Vegas. I mean, I had this dream when I was 12 to, you know, move out to the West Coast from Massachusetts and here I am in Las Vegas. And sometimes it's hard to believe even being here 20 plus years that I still live in Las Vegas. I mean, perfect weather, we're in early May and uh, you know, it's just perfect. It's just perfect, you know, it's, it's that season and uh, I'm really enjoying it. And it's gonna be a great 12 weeks right now. Looking forward to it. So good workout and uh, get some food. All right, so I wanna walk through the back training a little bit since you know, we did a pretty cool and kind of, uh, you know, last minute we decided to come to the gym and usually, like I said, I was training early in the morning. So today was back. I started with some pull downs. Now they have really good techno gym equipment here. So I usually do two sets, just kind of feel sets, just get, get the blood going a little bit. And then I go into th uh, three or four working sets. So today I did four sets of 12. And uh, with this movement, I'm just really trying to pop the lats out, kind of imitating the front double bicep. Uh, secondly, I moved over to um, deadlifts. And with those, you know, for me, I usually kind of finish with deadlifts. And I went right to my starting and ending weight, which was 225. I did three sets here for eight to 12 repetitions. For some sets I did eight, some, some I did 12. And uh, with this, I'm really just trying to work the overall strength in the body, lower lats. Um, I've always really liked dumbbells for back training. Uh, so I, I always include these usually every other week. Now, third exercise was the hammer strength row machine. And with this, I was using single arm at the time. And uh, with these, I'm really just trying to lengthen the lats a little bit, trying to imitate, you know, somewhat of the bent over row, which actually was the next movement. But, uh, so I do, uh, you know, three sets, single arm rows on the hammer row, then moved over to the one arm dumbbell row. And with this, uh, you know, I just kind of got a stretch in the lats, um, did four sets here, focused on uh, 10 repetitions on each side, and uh, went up to like 100 pounds there. So that's really one of my favorite exercises, really lengthening the lats. And, uh, you know, overall it was a great workout. You know, I didn't go crazy. I mean. Like I said, I'm not going full capacity yet. Just really trying to get in the groove. And, you know, really I kind of, I'm using a real instinctive type of way of training where days when I eat or less or more, I, I train a little harder or a little less. And I kind of actually wish I did this when I was training for Olympia I really didn't have an off switch. So I always thought I had to go full capacity balls to the wall where I don't really think that's actually necessary. You gotta kind of listen to your body more. And I think now that I'm a little older and you know, I've really um, kind of mellowed out a little bit and I'm not so driven to be the best bodybuilder on the planet. I think it's really helped me to, uh, to really focus and be able to listen to my, to my body and learn a little more about how my body works. So all in all, decent workout. Tomorrow's another day. Go home and get some food and uh, you know, get a good night's sleep and start over again tomorrow so stay tuned because tomorrow's a day where i'm gonna do my weekly uh unveiling for this youtube series and uh show you guys where i'm kind of starting and like i said it's 12 weeks from this weekend and we're a few days away from that so i'm super stoked and uh you know i'm ready to get this uh this mission accomplished so i'm doing a ton of behind the scenes content on my snapchat so make sure you guys Click the link at Mr. O. J. Cutler. I'm going to put it on the screen and uh, join me because I'm doing a ton of behind the scenes footage that I do not put anywhere else, and you guys can get it all there and uh, follow the journey. No mercy for you, no worries for you. That Game of Thrones, go sexy on you. <laughs>